Now, I had a lot of fun giving Lich a taste of his own medicine, destroying him on the regular boss mode. But today, we're going to be attempting Elite. And not only that, we're going to be fighting Lich with Blue Narius. We're going to be using the Bloon Spawner mod in order to fight boss versus boss and to see who's the true boss. That didn't sound as cool as I thought it would be. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. I'm really nervous about this, but I think we can do it if we farm hard enough and we still have those unlimited cross paths mod working too so we can make more money. Because the Bloon Spawner isn't the most expensive things only 300,000 for the Paragon but its other upgrades are kind of pricey so we're gonna have to work that one out now my biggest concern moving forward is that when it spawns a blue Narius it kind of just makes its way towards the exit so if Lich turns into that like shield mode where you can't hit it because the other ones come out is our blue Narius gonna just eat it right up immediately or are we gonna have a lot of problems and L Lich is going this way and blue Narius is going that way and then we just can't do anything very curious to see how that's gonna work out but in the end I think blue Narius will win because although Lich is the worst boss and and the most difficult and the one that gives me the most hardest time blue Narius, when he sends out that rush and does that thing that he does and he has that big open mouth i think he's a big contender for just wrecking every other boss in the game wouldn't that be kind of cool like a bloons td6 fighting game kind of like super smash brothers but you get to choose all the characters and then you get to fight the bosses like that like the mighty hand or you could actually be the boss so last time we used the tax shooter to beat the boss first tier right but this time we didn't use the sniper last but i think he's gonna be great because if you could imagine Imagine, like the bottom path paired with shrapnel shots plus like the lead popping one or the ceramic popping one I think could get pretty broken here and he pops camo he can pretty much just do everything and hopefully take out the first boss with like no problems okay the sniper's coming in clutch but we are killing our lives to, like the very last bit here so I had to have to buy a little bit more for the sniper unfortunately because I did want to upgrade all of this I want three of these farms to roll us through and then I need to stop farming like we're gonna just end up not making any money back on what we're doing here so as expected with just a 2-2 or now a 3-2-3 we're holding off pretty well now what I want to get is full auto rifle and an elite great fender so I've put a speed boost on him he is an elite great fender with deadly precision and shrapnel shots I'm wondering if that like bouncing bullets really gonna oh that's gonna work that'll work for sure it may take a minute but it's gonna get to the end I love this guy but see that's my main gripe with this boss and these bosses you can get past the first tier and you think wow I'm doing great I'm even using mods and getting past it but then all of a sudden at least with Lich I'll just start losing lives and I don't know why I just start losing them and maybe I just don't know what's going on with this whole boss mechanics I read the description it doesn't say you just lose lives for no reason so I I'm not really sure what's all that's about but we're gonna actually get rid of this guy and grab another one here and just go with a little baby upgrade save us some money here and get some more farms rolling now by round 56 we have four three two four farms that should be good to go we can upgrade this guy to his little max here or close to i don't think we need to go to the cripple moab and all that stuff and we'll put him on first that should take down the boss and then i want to start actually working up our balloon spawner here getting that guy going because the first tier i think is like 160 grand but we literally get bfbs at strong super strong moabs which is pretty awesome and then i think for this one we're going to go with fast ones because we want that balloon areas to be as fast as possible i'm not sure if it means like fast as the way they come out or just fast like what they do but i think we should be able to take this out we are okay Okay, so let's see if we can get 150 grand before this guy leaves us. Look at they are actually fighting against it. those BFBs are doing damage. This Blunarius will have to do damage. That's what I'm talking about here. Now I love this sniper. Might as well just get crippled Moab, huh? But I do want to get Blunarius. I have to get Blunarius on tier two. We're almost there. Come on, 144, 147. And there we go. We got the Blue Narius Bohemoth. Where is he going to spawn it at, though? That's my question. Will it spawn it like back there so I can fight against it? That'd be pretty cool. Oh my gosh, all the way at the end. Is that how that's going to, is that how that's going to play us? So what I'm thinking is, should we spawn him all the way in the back then? Because then he'll shoot from the back, right? And then we can put his buddy right here. And this one literally sends DDT. So we can put that pretty much anywhere. Harder ceramic shells because the bottom path first two upgrades are just camo um oh but those do have regrow that would have been pretty cool too and then get the bottom path all the way up which give us test balloons from sandbox mode invoke the power of the clear balloons button to delete moabs okay and we'll get them to be faster as well so now we just need 300,000 for our paragon and we should have that pretty quickly oh and i can just send ddts out just like that that's madness look at they're literally plopping out and just it's really hard to see but they're literally just destroying okay so this sniper is literally doing everything and i don't even get to test out my balloon spawner so we're gonna just send out all three fifth tier balloon spawners and then we have enough for the elite balloon areas 
We're fighting Elite Lich. We should fight it with Elite Blunarius. But I want to see what just three of these guys will do against Lich. Oh, see, there's that's what I'm talking about. Look at that Blunarius just popping out there. Yes. I love watching a boss fight a boss. So this is going to be round 80 right here. Here he is. Let's see what we can send out. So a Blunarius is going. Why is it going that way? I'm not sure. But we're going to send out DDTs and do Homeland. So mind you, we do not have the Paragon yet. We're just testing out what it can do on its own. Damage wise, it's not really there. It's just kind of sending balloons back, which I like. And we're sending out a few Blunariuses, which seem pre okay. Okay, what's going on? They're just bouncing backwards here. I think we're going to have to get this Paragon, just saying. So we'll grab this one right here and get $300,000 for the Paragon. See if that does anything different for us. Oh my gosh, that is an elite Blue Narius coming out of there. It's doing damage. It is, it is. But is it going to be enough to get through these bosses? That's what I'm a little scared about here. Now, I'm a little curious as to, let's say we put out another fifth tier of this guy. Is that going to help us out too? So we'll go all the way up to another Blue Narius. So now we have like three Blue Narius elites just fighting this guy. Four, it looks like on this screen. It's working now. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. This is going to wreck through it. It's literally holding Lich back. I don't know if that's the intended, but he can't move. He's stuck there while our Blue Narius Elite is just wrecking through it. So Blue Narius is the clear winner here, but this is only tier three. You guys know how it rolls. Next thing we know on tier four, dead. You can't touch one skull will go down. That's my biggest gripe, but we'll be here all day if we run it like this. So we're just going to get all the way up with this guy and just let him just wreck through everything just to get us through these rounds. We're going to anti-stall, right? I think that's what the cool kids call it. Imagine when we finally get the sniper, like the sniper paragon. That's going to be ridiculous. If we have the sniper paragon. That thing will just literally shred through everything. It'll probably be like this. Because honestly, in that last video where we fought regular Lich, I had no idea that the Apex was going to be stronger than the fifth tier Dart Monkey. I thought the fifth tier Dart Monkey was just unpoppable, but the Paragon beat it, which was pretty awesome to say the least. Here's a fun little fact too. Getting the fifth tier middle path for the farms when you have ultimate cross pathing doesn't really do anything. The only reason it has mon more money than this one is because I've been using the ability. So it's kind of just a waste of time. I just love these ultimate cross paths though. Like someone like the Sniper actually benefits from it, but then you get like the Wizard who's just all the fifth tiers at once which doesn't really help too much i don't think because each path's kind of its own thing going on but like this one look at this it's each of them help each other making it insanely crazy and he's just soloing but now we're gonna sell him we're gonna buy our balloon spawner back here and we're gonna set its degree to just a you know a quaint little 50 and see if that can do anything here and we're gonna hit play on round 100 which is the fourth tier lich boss let's see what it can do and it's actually oh my god it's actually doing it i did i honestly did not expect this at all i thought for sure we were gonna get stomped on and i honestly thought i was gonna have to scrap this whole video idea because i'm like there's no way nothing beats elite lich but like professional players because <laughs> this thing's just broken but we're actually doing it rather quickly. So let's see what 100 will do. Let's just set it to 100 and see if that changes anything. There's, what, how many are there? There's like 30 70s Bluneariuses. We're gonna crash the game. Like it would be going faster. I feel like these skulls would be falling so much quicker if it wasn't laggy McLags over here because of all these Bluneariuses. The game was not meant to handle all this. But we're stalling Lich there, keeping him in his spot, not letting him do anything, which is my favorite part of the day because I can't stand that guy. But if you guys are liking this so far, definitely hit that like button and let me know who you want to see fight the boss next there are so many modded towers to choose from and as you can see right next to me we even have pokemon do you want to see pokemon beat the elite lich let me know below oh my gosh that's what i'm talking about tier four popped but we can actually use this as like a, a science experiment too. like see if this fifth tier is just as good as like the sniper just to see it doesn't look like it is see because this is like completely different uh-oh no 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 we didn't make it that far just to get wrecked on okay so 4,000 Bluneariuses is not a problem, but a, a 555 Dartling is? Oh my God, now it's taking forever to load. Okay, no, 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 we're good. Get out of here. You are awful. Oh my God, 555 played. 555 played for the win. I think that, well, honestly though, the sniper was keeping them at bay a little bit better. So I, I'm curious to see how that's going to roll. But obviously the biggest thing that we have built up here is are we actually going to be able to beat the fifth tier boss with some Blueberrius, Blueberrius elite balloon spawners? Dude, this guy needs my help. He needs my sniper's help. I think the sniper is the best tower in the game. Oh my God. I used to be like a tack fanboy and like everything was tack, right? I even put tacks all over my walls. They hold 
up all of my paper and my bulletins and stuff. But then I was like, no, sniper all the way. Snipers are the best because elite sniper paired with like an alchemist is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And this is wrecking it so far. I don't even think we need this guy. Yeah, you don't even need him. Look at this. Honestly, I'm rethinking my title of this video. It should just be called praise sniper Jesus because he's awesome. So now this money situation is a little out of control. We have way too much of it. Why can't farming be like this in the normal game? I know you can think like, oh, but you need to work hard for your money. But I can name a handful of people that have not worked hard for their money in this world and are just like oodles and oodles of rich. So why can't it just be like that sometimes? You know, like why can't there be a lotto and that lotto allows you to play chimps like a ton of money or something? You know what I mean? But that's a little bit off topic. This is going to be the elite boss rush degree one bajillion, just like so against the fifth tier lich. Can we do it? I don't actually know. I'm a little scared here. Um, we're, we're taking it down. I just don't like I've mentioned in the beginning. I'm a little afraid that the Blunaris is going to go this way. Lich is going to go that way. But it looks like they're following him and then they're not following him. What the heck is going on? And why are there so many? At least he's a degree 100. I just ugh, imagine us crashing the game before it actually gets there. Can we not pop this? No, no, no. We're not going to lose to RNG. You just got to like not get caught by it. Take it out. Take it out, Blunarius. Oh, come on. What the heck was that? Okay, this guy really, this is what I'm talking about. We shred through all four tiers and then the fifth tier comes in and you can't beat the one guy. Okay, let's use the sniper. This game's busted and it's laggier than lags. Do we get him finally? We did. Okay, so we're only going to bring in this guy when we have to fight that stupid boss. That makes no sense. Actually, what if we just, okay, get you here. Oh my God, we're going to break the game. I'd be amazed if we make it through this, to be honest. Look at that. Okay, so we'll get that. And then we'll use this just to hopefully one shot that stupid thing. What do you even call that thing? A jerk? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can we take it out? Okay, we shot it. I think. Did he one shot it? It looks like he did or Blunarius took. Oh my God. Look at the thing going around in a circle. Did you see that? What's even going on here? This is fast mode. This is slow mode. Fast mode, slow mode. I should have started the shot clock a little bit back, but we're at like two minutes so far just to get down to here. Oh my God. I can't take this. It's been like four or five minutes already. Let's just try to use this monkey boost to drag it over really slow. Does this actually help? I've been using these in CT and stuff. So maybe, but did I even grab it? Whenever you're watching videos where the game lags, don't you think like your videos lagging on your phone or whatever? I get that all the, no, not super monkey storm. Stupid. Gosh. I get that all the time. I'm like, is my thing lagging? Okay, I got him. I got him. Yes. Okay. Now, if we put this down, shouldn't it go stronger for a little bit? Zoop, 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 zoop. And we should just hurry it up. Like, this is silly, and I'm pretty sure it's a bug, right? There's no chance that you get through four tiers, you know, cruising on the easy street, surfing on the beach, and then the fifth tier comes up, and you're just getting wrecked by a tsunami. That doesn't make sense to me. Not that we're getting wrecked, but the time it's taking to beat this compared to the last is just silly stupid. All right, I I'm leaving. All right, home stretch, only 30 minutes left. I actually went and did my dishes and came back, sold enough time. And then I had the crazy thought while I was doing so. What if there was disposable pots and pans? Like, this is going to be like a trigger warning for all you environmentalist people out there. But like, I love using paper plates and stuff because I don't have to clean them. I just throw them away when I'm done. And it's awesome. It's amazing. It's the most beautiful thing ever. But pots and pans, right? If you don't, you can't clean them right when they're hot sometimes. So you let them sit and then they get all that stuff corroded and gross in there and you got to take extra time to clean it. If we just had disposable pots and pans that didn't burn up when you cooked on them, toss them out and you're good. There's no more dishes. Someone needs to invent that and be a million bajillion dollar idea. But back to balloons. Luckily, it looks like there's no chance. Lich is done and we did. We set out to do a goal. Can we beat Lich with Blunarius? And we did it. We're going to do it. And we made the elite Lich look like a bad balloon and we killed it. And if you enjoyed that, then definitely check out this video where we beat Lich in the fastest time that you've ever seen. We destroy each tier instantly.